Learning more about the asylum seekers being flown over to Sacramento. The migrants say they were approached outside a Texas shelter with promises of employment and housing. Wow. As Dina Demetrius is about to show you, Florida officials are taking responsibility for flying them here. Faith-based groups and local government are working together to provide food and housing for 36 asylum seekers recently flown to Sacramento without any apparent notice given to officials in California. What can we do and what must we do to make sure that 36 people know that they are safe and that they are welcome? The first plane delivered 16 migrants to Sacramento's executive airport last Friday. Another private plane carrying 20 mostly Venezuelan migrants arrived on Monday. The asylum seekers told officials they didn't know their destination until they landed. We believe these individuals were, were lied to, deceived, manipulated, exploited and abused. Officials in California say both flights originated in New Mexico. The evidence indicates that this was an official act of the state of Florida. Florida's Department of Emergency Management now acknowledges it sent the migrants to California, released this video and photos insisting those transported consented to go either verbally or in writing. Last year, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and state officials used taxpayer money to fly 49 Venezuelan immigrants to Martha's Vineyard from a Texas shelter. California Governor Gavin Newsom is threatening DeSantis with kidnapping charges. Uh, it's certainly morally bankrupt, disgusting, wrong, cruel, inhumane, and also potentially illegal. Yes. yes, I'm answering the call. But for now, faith-based groups are welcoming their new neighbors, keeping them fed, housed, and safe while they determine their next steps. So officials in Texas say criminal charges should be filed in connection to flights carrying 50 Venezuelan migrants from San Antonio to Martha's Vineyard last fall. A statement from Bear County Sheriff's Office says it recommends both felony and misdemeanor charges of unlawful restraint. They did not, though, say who should face those charges, but at the time, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis took credit for the flights. He was criticizing the Biden administration's immigration policies and claims the migrants were not misled.